We are live! Hello! Spoilers! It's time for some spoilers! Finally! Fucking finally! I waited two years for this shit! I mean, so we talked a little bit off mic, and um, you are okay with not everything being spoiled at once, right? Like, we can go chronologically through the story. <laughs> oh, you seem so <laughs> reluctant! <laughs> I'm fine with I'm fine with this. It is my turn to say I trust you. All right. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to make faces at you when you refuse to answer my questions, okay? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm still going to make faces at you. I'm going to pan till the end. Well, I don't think I could stop you from pandaing. Release the panda. Excellent. All right. So, uh, like basically for our new format, I just figured instead of reading through the chapter, I can summarize the overall arc for you and answer any questions that you have yeah and uh see if uh see if this works out and if it's entertaining for you for me yeah for you oh oh, oh. i thought i thought you were talking to the audience you were like oh we're gonna make it entertaining no, for you and I'm... I'm primarily reading this to you i love you i love you too okay well, God, it was so hot today, my chapstick melted. We were hoping to do a very, very short video today, which is why I'm not going to spoil all of Worm the Panda this time. <sighs> Instead, I'm going to um, summarize the next two arcs for her, and hopefully we can do that in like 20 minutes or so, more or less. Start with one, and then let's see how we go. Okay. Because if I start losing my shit again, then like, well... Well, I was hoping to do these both together, because yes. these... These two arcs are kind of known collectively as the Coil arcs. Oh, I forgot. What was Coil's day job again? Was he like a stockbroker? Um, we don't know what Coil's day job is. I just I remember he had like a desk job. Yeah, he he has a desk job. And he makes like a kajillion dollars. He he has a lot of money, but that's because of his power, actually. I want Coil's power so I can make a lot of money too. Right. I wouldn't actually use it for evil. I would just use it to stop me from embarrassing myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, I, I don't even know exactly where it's covered. I didn't covered. finish. Oh. <laughs> I would okay. use it to stop me from embarrassing myself. Uh-huh. And I mean, I am socially awkward, and I would... Oh, actually... Well, actually, that's this, this would be great in my... As far as my place of work goes. I mean, wouldn't you love to have an infallible dentist or an infallible kind of doctor? Mm, yeah, of course. That'd be nice. And, of course, use it to make myself a kajillion dollars. I'd maybe just work one day a week. Actually, you know what? I actually wouldn't work anymore. I would just invest. Fuck work. Fuck all this. Right? Yeah, literally, um, from what I understand, Coil uses power to just make, like, these, um... <laughs> oh, bless you. These, yeah. Um, basically, um, high investments in, like, stocks. Mm -hmm. And just, like, doing, like basically minute by minute like stock tradings and stuff like that and so he could like take really risky gambles in one reality and then um not take gambles in the other one and then like if it pays off he'll just go with the reality that made him a ton of money right so he can pick and choose so he can reject your your reality and insert his own yeah to quote my friend from high school right ah yeah tower says quail never takes the l therefore he gets that coin mm-hmm Plus a coin to your panda. Come on. Yeah. I need to retire. I hate yeah. my job. Well, unfortunately, we do not have Coil's power. Can I steal it? I don't know. You I might want be able it. to steal it, possibly. I want to copy power so I can copy his powers and then I can mm -hmm. make shitloads of money. Okay. Well, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Da, 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 da. Sorry, nineties reference. I'm yeah. old. <laughs> so I mean, um, so okay. we we skip the Sierra and Legend interludes. I give you a basic summary of them, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Sierra, um, Sierra is basically left to handle Skitter's territory. All she got to be a damsel in distress. Well, she she's actually um more of a boss now at this point. Oh. Because um, a Skitter's like she's the one with the dreadlocks. Mm, no, yes. I get them mixed up. Yes, Sierra is the one with the dreadlocks. Charlotte is the one who um knew Taylor from before. The before times. The before times. Yeah. So uh, just quickly summarizing those again. Um, Sierra 
in Charlotte are ba have basically been running the territory all by themselves because right. Gitter's been missing for two days, right? Um, they are spending time moving corpses because there's nowhere to put the corpses. Um, ah, there's that's not even, like our reality. Yeah, there's not even any refrigeration or anywhere, right? So Sounds familiar! So they just have to move them, like, uh, line them up on the streets away from the territory so it doesn't stink up the place. Sounds familiar. Get vax, folks, or you could be another dead body on the street. Mm -hmm. Well, not really. Maybe, well, not any more. I less likely, but still. Yeah, and so so we kind of just get a snapshot of like what it's like to be Sierra to like to manage the territory and a day in the life of Sierra. Oh hum, I'm a terror. Hi there. This is Sierra. I'm a territory boss, and and today we're gonna show you what we do. Mm -hmm. It was a difficult morning. There was no tailor for tea and cookies. Oh, we had no, we had more bodies to move. I'm just kind of picturing this in like montage format. Yeah, basically. And then in the afternoon, something attacked and then Taylor came and saved us. So everything was okay again. Yeah. Yeah. Like while Skitter was gone, um, they basically got attacked by ex ABB members. Um, and Skitter showed up right at the end to like to save them and, and the orphans. Um, yeah, like we, we basically get to see how Sierra is doing right now and how okay. she's kind of stepping up. Okay. Um, Good for her. Then the legend interlude, um, we get kind of like his whole life history, okay. sort of like a, a, very, a very broad overview. He's one of the triumvirate, right? right? The one who's kind of like Superman. He can fly around at like the speed of light. Who was the golden Oscar Jesus? That's Scion. Scion, right? Scion is. Big golden Jesus who never stops the breast. I'm gonna call him Oscar. Yeah, Oscar. Because you know the Oscar is a big golden naked man. Uh huh. Yeah, he he basically flies around and never stops the breast. Uh, let uh, he, Sion is not part of the triangle. Oh, and the other one who was like a uh, oh, Sion's not part of it. No. Uh, was one of the legs of this triangle a magician dude? Yes, Idolin. That's too hard to remember. Magician dude, it is. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. So, Idolin's powers <laughs> is um he actually can um have three powers at once, and he can pick and choose when to let go of a power and, and gain another one. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Give me money. Money is nice. Yeah. I want money. But want um money we power. get we get the perspective from Legend. Um he's our he's the gay Superman essentially. Legend is gay Superman? Yeah, basically. Yeah, I guess Superman's pretty straight. Yeah. Um, okay, so we got gay super Superman. <laughs> I'm so mean. <laughs> gay Superman. We got Magic Mike. Uh -huh. <laughs> and what's the last one? Magic Mike. We got the magician, and we have Alexandria. Right. Who's also Superman, but girl. Also Superman. Yes. <laughs> they are. They are all Superman in some way. No, two Supermans and a magician. Yeah. <laughs> a bad joke two supermans and a magician walk into a bar mm -hmm. i don't know how this joke ends but it just reads like a punchline look i'm so mean like i'm the person where like if there's an unusual chief complaint followed by an interesting life fact i'll just i'll, I'll straight up just turn to the front desk and be like guys are you not did you not hear what you just said mm -hmm. that, that's a joke you wrote yourself a joke right there like mm -hmm. i don't even remember what the joke was it was really funny i'm pretty mean one all right. Um, and there's a few big reveals in here. I, I actually don't remember the legend interlude that well, but mm -hmm. um, legend A is shown to be a pretty upstanding dude. Like he he honestly cares, um, about saving people. Oh, um, that's nice of him. He um obtains Arms Master's lie detector and is using it for some reason, and we don't know why at the start of the chapter. Um, but we find out. Um, he goes to a secret meeting with the Triumvirate, and we realize that the Triumvirate is connected to Cauldron. And that, in fact, every single member of the Triumvirate gained powers from Cauldron. Oh! Right? Interesting, oh, right? They're the Illuminati! Right? They're superhero Illuminati! So the Triumvirate's connected to Cauldron, um, and he's talking with Alexandria and Eidolon, uh -huh. and he... Um, his light detector is constantly going off and he realizes oh like even though i know that cauldron is secretly connected with um with you know the triumvirate and with the prt even these people are still hiding things from me 
that Alexandria Idolin, um, and have you met Doctor Mother yet? <laughs> no, what kind of a name is right? Is that his superhero name, Doctor Mother? No, she's not a superhero, but she is kind of is in charge her... of Cauldron. Okay, okay, but is that her name, Doctor Mother? That is what people call her by. Yeah. So title, title. Yeah. Here, let me click on this and and scroll through. Doctor Mother. Yeah, they call her Doctor Mother. Bit redundant, don't you think? Um, I mean, it feels a little redundant. bit. Yeah, it's title, weird. title, and like that's but, really. Oh, you have met Doctor Mother. You met her in Batteries Interlude. I didn't know her name was Doc Mom. They, I think they just call her the Doctor. Yeah. Yeah, it was just the Doctor. Mm hmm. Doctor Who. Mm hmm. Um. So yeah, it, it, the whole time, like Alexandria. There's Idol a. And there's Dr. like Mother. a slew of your mom jokes. Just. There's a lot, yeah. Yeah, you can make so many your mom jokes. Um, Where did you get your superpowers? Yo mama's house. Yo ma. Your mom is so twisted. <laughs> you uh -huh. know, all of those kinds of jokes. Yeah. I'm sorry. Look, this is what I do. Oh. Everything's funny. Because Thanks. if it wasn't, I'd be a very... A very, very, very sad, pathetic little panda. Thanks for the reminder, Tower. So, Legend can turn into light, fly, and shoot over a hundred different flavored lasers. Flavor? Like, different colors, and they can do different things. Oh, oh like okay. No, no, I'm, I'm sorry, because I was not, just... Not actual taste. Because I was just kind of like, flavor lasers? No. Flavor lasers? So, so how many... Is, oh my god, he's responsible for the miles and miles of cereal at your local supermarket. Uh-huh. Oh my god. Dude, flavor lasers. That sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so oh um god. he can shoot different types of lasers. They can like Pineapple. turn corners and shit. Turn corners. Lasers that can change corners. Yeah. That breaks the laws of physics. Superheroes. Did I stutter? Did I stutter? Your mom did. Yeah, so he has lasers that can change <laughs> Um, that can turn corners and like chase after bad guys and shit. Um, are, and are these where does he fire these lasers from? I, actually, I don't know. I don't think it's from his eyes. I think he like fingers. Are they finger guns? I think hand hand lasers. Why is he not doing finger guns? But missed opportunity. Actually, no, 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 no. If I are remember, these farts? he can turn into light himself. Which means the lasers can come from anywhere. Which means, yes, he could probably do a fart laser. Amazing. Right? That is a flavor you never want to go anywhere near your senses. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm, I can't. This is so funny. Yeah. <laughs> I know none of this is supposed to be funny, but, like, it's funny. Look, everything... I, I don't think we're getting through the whole arc. No, of course not. I told minutes. you. There's... I told you, we're not. It's just a lot. Yeah. Okay, okay, so, oh my god. Yeah, so... I forgot about that. So, what was it? Um, Kid Win is the one who gives Legend the super better lie detector. Um, and also tells him about Hero's specialty, and I don't remember. Hero's specialty? So, remember when the Triumvirate um, mm -hmm. is not actually... They didn't used to be the Triumvirate. There used to be four members of their crew. So, they were a bunch of squares. Yeah, they were squares. But... Uh, um, hero died to Siberian. Do you remember that? That was his hero name? He was literally called Hero, yeah. And that's why you died, dummy! <laughs> no, I'm serious, that's why you died. You died to Siberian, huh? Mm -hmm. What, did Siberian rip his throat out? Um, I think he was just bashed against a wall or something. Ah, uh, that was gonna be my next yeah. guess. Like, Director, like a bug? Director Pago was watching a video of Hero's death, if you remember that. So it's just like, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, basically. But you die. Yeah. Sorry. Uh-huh. Look, I'm sorry. I just, I like telling these stupid jokes as they come into my head. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. That's fine. Okay. Want to make sure. Uh, I'd be horrible in a leadership position. Who said that? Uh, kid win. High five, bud. I'd also be horrible in a leader position. Mm-hmm. I think. No, I got us out of that escape room, so maybe not. Anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's nice to see Kidwin again. There was there's a little bit talk about what Kidwin I barely remember him. Like I remember his name because it was stupid, but like I don't remember <laughs> what else he did. 
Well, um, it's, it's not as bad as Clockwalker. He, he had the skateboard. Um, right, you see that tinker who made that, like, cannon thing? Yeah, he made he dismantled a skateboard to make a cannon and then got the cannon uh, uh, confiscated. Confiscated yep. by Miss Piggy. By Miss Piggo. What was yes. her name? Emily? Yes, Emily Piggo. I was like, it was, I was like it's, a, it's a really strangely girly name. It was like Lisa or like Emily yeah, it was or Emily. something. Um, I'm glad her name wasn't Jessica. That would have been very weird. Where is the thing? What okay, so Kidwin for? talks a little bit about what um he's trying to figure out what his own specialization is, but he doesn't know um what because is... he was trying to copy heroes, but um like technology. What does he mean specialization? He, every he's a tinker, tinker. Every tinker has a different specialization, a different thing that they're good at, right? And Kidwin actually doesn't know what he's good at. Oh, that's okay. You're just a kid. Right. So um, so he's been struggling a lot with like this feeling of inadequacy. And like mm. um he has this calculia, like is bad with numbers, right? Yeah. I, and um yeah. on top of that, had probably has some form of ADHD, which is why like he's constantly never finishing his projects and dismantling one thing for another. Uh, and like um Oh, poor baby. Right? It's How old so is sad. he? Twelve? I think he's in the middle age, uh, middle range of the awards. So like probably 16 or so. Ooh. 16 or 17. Like they, they mentioned mm -hmm. that he's going to, he might be next in line for mm -hmm. being the leader. And that's of why awards. he said he wouldn't be good that at That he wouldn't it. be a good leader. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. So you can't be a cape without issues, huh? You would mm -hmm. never be a cape in this world, Namor. You don't have, I, I, yeah. I you don't not. have like severe hangups. Mm -hmm. You don't need therapy. You're not traumatized. Yeah. Uh, but therapy called tomorrow. I wanted to go see the movie, but no, I've been having really bad moods lately. Yeah. So I got to do it. Hero yeah. was the very first tinker. Um, yeah. I still don't know what his specialty is. Oh, well, whatever. Hero had a spe specialty. If, if anybody in chat is listening and they know what the specialty is, feel free to feel drop free notes to in the doobly doo thingy. Yeah. Okay. So Legend gets the lie detector and then constantly Alexandria is lying. Idolan is lying. Doctor Mother is lying, um, and he realizes, oh, there's a conspiracy that they're keeping even from me, right? Because um, it's kind of established that Legend is too upstanding and moral to um, to accept whatever Cauldron's actually doing. You mean like letting Siberian go, right? Stuff like that, yeah, like <sighs> letting Siberian go. And mm. turns mm. out the reason they let Siberian go, mm -hmm. and the reason um. Uh, reason. the reason Siberian is so strong is because Siberian's creator was a former member of Cauldron who escaped, who 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 um betrayed them, and his name was Manton. The Manton effect. Yep. Does that sound familiar? It's yeah. the very same guy who came up with the Manton effect. Yeah, so Manton effect is like that thing where you can't where um uh, power organic or inorganic yeah. something powers either affect only organic things or only inorganic things and tend not to. Cross and over. he's the one who kind of figured that out. So or it's called named the effect. Named yeah. it. Studied so it. Called, named it. Yeah. So if he studied it, then it's named after him. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Um, so. Gee, the really smart scientist guy ended up being a otaku and a pervert. Wow, who could have seen this coming? Well, what happened was his daughter died. Stop making this sound reasonable. His daughter died. Right, so, you know, that's the, the, right, the leaps of logic these people go to. Listen, y'all, I need help, but, like, you guys, I, you guys need serious help. I'm just mildly suicidal. My daughter died. I'm going to create this doll thing that I guess reminds me of her, and she's going to be a naked zebra woman. Yes, excellent. You know, I mean, my dad is a normal dad-ish. I mean, he reminds me of the, the bad guy from Shang-Chi, which doesn't really say good things, but my dad was kind of a normal dad. If there was anything that, like, like, my dad wasn't the kind of guy who... who like tell me to cover up if I wanted to wear a bikini or anything because I was too afraid to wear a bikini because I thought I had like an eggplant shaped body. Mm. But um, you know, if it was anything like body related, then he'd be like, "Go talk to your mother." Most most uh, dads, I feel like, are generally like, "Look at what Danny, look at Danny boy." Like it's like, "Hey, um, Taylor, hey, daughter of mine, um, we should talk about 
looks at notes on the hand. G girl thing! I can't, I can't, I can't, I'm checking out. I, I can't do this. I can't do this. Jennifer, please talk to your daughter. I can't do this. So I'm just like, I, I get that he's in mourning over his daughter, but why is she naked? Right. That's what I want to know. It, it's like he's, he's bringing her back to life, quote unquote, but like. She's not bringing her to life so much as he's bringing that OC tucked away in her 12 year old notebook to, to life. life. Yeah, it, it's pretty fucked up. Why is she naked? Like, well, that might also just be his power, but it, it's so weird. But she's naked. It's so weird. Yeah. So he stole he stole a cauldron vial, and um took it himself, and like that's why he's so strong. And like this is actually um cauldron finding out, um that Manton is actually Siberian, and that them kind of like in this chapter because talking of the about stolen it. vial. Well, not just that, but like um they found a tattoo on his right hand and so on, like on. On on the cre on Manton's right hand, they found a tattoo on Manton's right. Did yeah, they, the did they, cap did they ca ta capture? Did they capture Siberian or did Siberian get away? Siberian got away. Right. So Siberian got away. So when you're saying they figured out it was Manton, uh, was there like camera footage where like somebody saw Manton with the tattoo on his hand? Is that is that what happened? Mm -hmm. Is it, yeah? Is it something like that? Um, I think it was. I think they got a photo of him or something like that. Okay. So they did get a photo of him and they were able to confirm through photographic evidence that in fact they were dealing with Manton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, no, no, it's not a photo. It's Alexandria. Andrea. Alexandria? Oh, she has like really good eyes, right? Yeah, I, I caught a glimpse of the man who was creating the projection before they retreated. And? And he had Cauldron's Mark tattooed on the back of his left hand, a swan on his right. So, yeah. Um, wait, wait, what's the swan on his right? Is that a symbol of his swan. daughter? That might be about his daughter, yeah. Okay, and he made a fucking zebra woman? Yep. Sir! Listen, if my dad... If I died and my dad were to imaginate me back to life... Mm -hmm. Like, re reanimate, imaginate me back to life... It would make sense for me to come back as a zebra woman because my last name starts with the letter z and so when we're spelling it for people over the phone we will always say z as in zebra and then spell the rest of the name so if i came back as a zebra woman that would make sense of course it would make far more sense for me to come back as a bloodthirsty panda you know like gloomy bear but anyway that that's if i guess if roman imaginated me back to life but right. anyway my dad would definitely not picture me as a naked grown woman because he ain't seen that because no one's gross here. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Ugh. All right. Yeah. Manton's gross. Ugh. Manton's gross. He used to be with Cauldron and he stole a vial and escaped. Um, Did he shove that vial up his Parker juicy asshole? Is that how he got away with it? Hey. I don't know why those words live rent free, mm -hmm. but they are burned into yeah. my conscious forever now so um legend if i gain nothing else from this experience i will forever remember even in my 80s i will turn to namor and be like sweetie why am i remembering pucker juicy asshole when i won't remember my own name uh-huh okay tower has found me some i'm gonna pee really fast some information but you can keep talking yeah so uh hero specialization was not known because he lived before tinker specializations were considered but oh. but legend correctly theorized that hero specialized in wavelength manipulation so like being able to 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 mani manipulate like light and like and radio waves and whatever they can't hear you from there <laughs> Can't Legend do that? Legend Legend himself is like laser man, right? Like he can turn himself into light and emit lasers. But Tinker, um, Hero is actually a Tinker who works with uh wavelengths. And actually, if you think about it, um actually, I, I don't know if this is confirmed anywhere, but Legend and Hero might have gotten their power from the same um from the same source. Which is why they both deal with wavelengths. Make sense? Oh my god. I feel like you could make like jokes about that dual particle wave theory of light. Uh-huh. So heroes um creations involved 
uh, included a helmet camera, a disintegration gun, a jetpack. Wow, and a dis- wait, 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 the good guy made a disintegration gun? Yes. I I'm just checking here because, you know, that sounds like a death ray. Sonic weapons, small, surprisingly effective power sources and explosives, a what? ray gun, and jet boots. Ray you know, for a good guy, he's awfully good at making bad guy weapons. <laughs> Notice that? <laughs> Did anyone not notice this? Is he actually not- is- is Hero actually not dead? Mm -hmm. Is he like actually not dead and hiding out somewhere in the footnotes as like a zombified hero brought back to life for drama? Uh-huh. Because you- seriously, if any villain had a reanimation, like, ability, I would bring this guy back and tell him to bring his whole fucking arsenal. Mm -hmm. I will have a shiny new Australia by dawn. I don't, I'm just kidding. I don't want Australia. I want Hawaii worth far more. So nice. I'm going to drink all the Kona coffee. Yeah. It's anyway, all mine. Legend has super sight and was the one who spotted Manton's tattoos. Um, and these are spoilers for you, but the swan mm -hmm. on, um, on Manton's... This is all spoilers for me. Yeah. On Manton's right hand um, was a mark for Simmer vi victims. So you don't know who the Simurgh is, but it it, uh, it indicates familiar. someone who has been um, victimized by the Simurgh, um, they, they get these tattoos. Oh, wow. How utterly fascinating. It would be much more fascinating if I knew what the Simurgh was. Sorry. You'll find out eventually. <laughs> <sighs> right. So Legend reviews his um the his footage like his his recorded conversation with um mm -hmm. with the with the cauldron uh -huh. and um finds out that like a bunch of the things that were mentioned to him were lies like for instance we have no need for human experimentation the number man can calculate the odds of success for a given formula that was a lie Woo! yeah Woo! that's a really bad one to find out. And who knows enough about Cauldron or to tattoo or brand them with the mark while simultaneously having access to these kinds of resources? It's not us, the doctor's voice answered his. Lie. So, yeah. Cauldron's, like, lying to him a ton. I mean, you're too much of a goody-goody. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, yeah, this is where we find out that Battery dies. As well. Which is sad. Is, Very sad. Is, uh, what's it, Assault at least upset? Oh yeah, that's all it's super upset. Mm. Yeah. So Battery, um, lying in the hospital bed, still delirious, but Battery had used halting sentences to tell him about Cauldron, about buying her powers. Her death had been slow, painful, and inevitable. Mm hmm Wait, how did she die? Um, I think she was poisoned. Oh, so I thought she got stabbed. Yeah, whatever the case, one of the spiders had injected her with a poison bone saw had devised. Oh. Yeah, so her death had been slow, painful, and inevitable. It had been engineered to strike those notes in a way that millions of years of evolution had yet to refine a plant's toxin or an animal's venom. So yeah, Battery, in her, in her deathbed, revealed everything she knew about Cauldron to legend. Mm -hmm. Which didn't help because Legend already knew about Cauldron. I see. Oof. And then the chapter ends with uh, Idolin's voice came from the speakers. I can't end anything here, and my power is not volunteering anything that could help to solve this particular mystery. I guess we have yet another unanswered question on our hands. The word was in red letters on the screen. It could have been his own pulse behind his retinas, but the letters seemed to throb with a heartbeat of their own. Lie. All lies. Legend whispered the words to himself. Mm. So yeah, interesting look into Legend's life. And, so uh, how I can't he's... add anything here. And what mystery? Um, Solve this particular mystery. Let me go backwards a little. So basically, um, Legend is interrogating Doctor and Alexandria and Idolin. Like, what's what's with Manton? Like, how come Manton has access to all these powers? 
like mm. how come he has the cauldron tattoo like um what's his like what's the link between siberian and cauldron right and idolin lies about it mm. that he's like oh i can't solve this mystery i i don't know what the answer is and all of them know what the answer is except for legend and of course it's his pov that we're seeing to solve from more yep. mystery great exactly mm. yeah mm. Mm. interesting interesting all right well it's been over 20 minutes and we haven't done anything from arc 15 or 16 yet like i said i would so i'm gonna call it a night let's call it a night <laughs> i'm sorry is it because i'm riffing too much i stop riffing no it's um it looks like this takes a little longer if i want to dive in deeper I actually do want to give you just a full level overview before doing in-depth stuff. No, like that's that. that's fine. I mean, so actually, instead of making uh, it a lie, instead of making it a lie, I'm gonna summarize arc 15 and 16 super quickly to you, in like a minute or less. And then starting timer. All right. So Let's go. Um, arc 15. Oh, wait, wait, wait! I didn't start the timer. Oh, okay, fine. I'll wait for you to get the timer. You can start the timer. Just because it's fun. And go. All right. In Arc 15, the Undersiders um, start taking control over their territories again. They defeat um, the remnants of the Chosen and the um, and Purities. Oh, was that? And the Hook Wolf um, contingent and the Purity contingent. Chosen and is one of their contingents. It, it's the um, the Nazis, the Empire 88 right. factions that right, split right, up. Right. And then right. um, they start... The Undersiders agree that they're going to take Coil down, but they have to start preparing for it. Um, Coil, meanwhile... Are they taking Coil down for Dina? For Dina, okay. yeah. They all agree if it if it comes down to it, they're going to de defeat Coil um, and save Dina, right? Um, but Coil has other plans. He's able to trick Tattletail into thinking he's killing Skitter when he's actually not. He sends Skitter to attack the mayor. Um, what? He, yeah, because um, they need to convince the mayor to not um, condemn the city. And then at the end of it, Skitter realizes, oh, we can't beat Coil. So instead, in Arc 16, she tries to um she tries to make a deal with Coil that like um he can let go of Dina. Um uh, if she is more invaluable to him than Dina is. And she does everything she can to help him. Um and wow, that's a that's a heck of a little mermaid uh, thing. Right? So he's just like, okay. Fine, go attack the PRT. So they spend like wait. So they have Taylor attack the PRT. They have the, all the entire Undersiders attack the PRT. Yeah. Yeah. Um. They they end up in a conflict with Dragon. They they have to fight her and Ooh, escape. Oh, I do not want to fight Dragon. And then um and then as Taylor is escaping, Coil makes his move and tries to kill her. Um, she manages to evade capture. So Quill really wants to kill her. Yeah. Huh? Because um, the whole Dina thing. Because of the whole Dina thing, yeah. He tries to kill her, um, and he also tries to um replace her with like an imitator. So that um so that none of the other undersiders are aware of it. Did this? Did, were did they eventually become aware of it? Was the they um they become aware of it when Taylor, um when Taylor shows up and her imposter tries to kill bitch again or something like that. Her imposter again? tries to kill bitch. Um, Taylor shows up. Um, and they realize it was a trick. And then um and the undersiders take on Coil and um Coil surrounds him with all um with his men. Mm -hmm. And uh and it seems like the undersiders are cornered and are about to get killed when it when um it turns out that Tattletail had bought all of his men. And oh! and Taylor finally That's killed good. someone in cold blood. And that's the end of the arc. But and I killed. definitely took more than a minute. That was two minutes and 50 seconds. I'm so sorry. That's okay. Uh, who does she kill? She kills Coil. She manages to kill Coil. And she kills Coil right there. Yep. Ooh, girl. Yeah. So that Ooh, is the two arcs. And if girl. you want, we can dive into the the little subplots a little more uh, next time. Okay. Sound okay. good? Sounds Sound exciting? Sounds exciting. All right. Well, for the time being, that uh, that was our attempt at the new format. Let us know what you think. Oh, this is a lot easier. I'm, I'm is, glad it's more interesting. This is actually a lot easier for me to process, too. It's like, okay, things are happening at, like, um, you know, you know what's interesting? I, I'm going to say at, like, 
Cliff Notes pace. Uh huh. I have no right to say that because I never used Cliff Notes. I just read the novels and mm -hmm. enjoyed them and then didn't study for the exams. I like writing and stories and stuff. I don't know what Cliff Notes actually looks like. Nice. This is my assumption. I assume bullet points. I like this bullet point like I, format. I'm glad you it's, like them. It's easier to digest. And we can it's... dive into whatever you're more interested yeah, in. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect. Okay, yeah. If uh, anybody listening to this has any um, comments, feedback, con suggestions, well, things that things from the arcs that they want more of a more of, of a deep dive, deep dive into, into yes. then um, you know, please uh, let us know. Yeah, let us know. And listen, I, I mean, I would say I ain't got shit to do, but like, you well, I like how do I put it? I like taking these sorts of requests, you know, because mm -hmm. I don't really know what I should be looking at. And, you know, if there's stuff that you guys think is interesting, clearly you think it's interesting for a reason. You are. I mean, you know, Namor, you foisted this whole thing on me to mm -hmm. begin with during the pandemic when I was like, I have absolutely shit all to do. Yeah. Oh, famous last words. Uh -huh. Now I have too much to do. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Well, we're going to call it a night here. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. And let us know what... um. If you have any comments, feedback, or suggestions. Good night. Good night.